All right, let's get into it. Today, um, I'm not feeling it. I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm tired. So today's not going to be a long episode. Ah, if you, if you don't mind. If you don't mind me, you know. Uh, so, we got Bunny Boy. Oh, that's not Bunny Boy. That's Metallic. Or Jazzamon? Yeah, this Jazzamon. Uh, so we're at Jazzamon. So we need for him just two things. Just two little things. We need... Uh, no care mistakes, which we have, and two effort, which again we have. So we're good there. That's gonna become a b -b 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 his next evolution, which is. Is it Jazzerica Bar? Excuse me. Yeah, his next form, which is Jazzardmon. This is Jazzamon. I don't know why I keep getting those mixed up. Over here, though, we have Money Boy. And I love him. He's so cute. I think uh, Lopmon X and uh, Terramon X are like easily the most adorable um, Digimon. I love him. Um, I mean, they were already, especially Terramon was already one of my favorites. So I was just happy to see him. Uh, he's got like five care mistakes now because the uh, requirement to get Wizardmon X is um, the hell is it again? Oh, come on. Mmm. Try one more time. I don't know if that's it. Uh, Wizardmon's requirement is to meet no requirements. So Wizardmon technically is a little trashy boy. So... <sighs> Excuse me. That's who we're going for right now. Um, I'm training him up too, because why not complicate things by adding in some effort too. Because uh, really, it's got to be either, whenever it's like a meet no requirements, uh, that either means you should get a bunch of care mistakes, like 5 plus, 6 plus. Um, but if you do other stuff to complicate it on top of care mistakes, you should be fine. Uh, but how adorable is he? I love his little face. I want to see it one more time. Uh, I was too busy talking, I didn't really give it the, I love it, this is a fist bump too. How cute is he, man? I'd love to see X Evolutions make a comeback in the anime. I mean, we never really got to see them other than the 3D movie. I don't think they've ever been like in an, in an anime. Oh, so cute. Um, but yeah, I, again, I don't think they've ever been in an anime. Have they ever been in an anime? X Evolutions? I don't think so. I really don't. Someone please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've ever seen like a an X Evolution rendered in, uh, like, you know, drawn in uh, 2D. Kind of weird when you think about it. Um, excuse me. <sighs> also, something else I didn't realize about the Pendulum Zs, uh, we're not getting, like, a Z Evolution. Well, so far, it doesn't look like we are. Totally was expecting them to either A, show off some more X Evolutions, or B, have a new evolution, but we didn't get either of those, which is kind of a bummer. Kind of a little bit of a bummer, not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, I like the X's. I know they said this was it. This is the uh, the finale of the X evolution, you know, story, and they, they they were not lying. They were being dead ass. It's it's it. <laughs> this, this was it. Probably not gonna see X evolutions for for a while. Probably You'll probably see them in like games and such. But as far as seeing them in the pets, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath. Or right. yeah, no, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't remember them showing off uh, X Evolution Digimon in any of the rosters for the Pendulum Z. Again, kind of a bummer, because I uh, I like the breath of fresh air Pendulum, or X Evolution's added. But then again, we're getting a lot of brand new Digimon uh, in the, uh, the newest um, V Pets, so you know that's a trade-off like we, we trade off and you know what maybe it's for the best because like a lot of the x evolutions that we got were like those mech like super busy designs where now we're going back oddly enough we're going back to like the classic you know thick outline looking you know monstrous uh beast like digimon of the days of yore like the classic ones which again i find funny because uh we're doing that with the pendulum line the pendulum line um, I don't know. I don't think of that much when I think of the pendulums. I think of the classic Digimon when I think of that. When I think of a pendulum, I do think of the busy designs of the, uh, the later 
years of the franchise. Um, but I'm still happy about that because I love those new designs, especially the ones on the Deep Savers. I'm so happy I was able to pre-order that one. Still have not pre-ordered uh, the, what is it, um, Nightmare Soldiers. Haven't done it yet. I will soon, though. Don't worry. Uh, if anything, if I have to like buy them later when there's Japan you want to get some extras, I will just do that. Um, because I still want it. I want all three at this point. I bought two. Might as well bite the bullet and just get the third one. Um, so yeah. The last one for these two babies. And then we'll just uh, cap it off. I had this one in my pocket earlier and I was so sweaty. I was wearing jeans. I was outside like, mostly the day. Really hot day today, almost like 100 degrees, I think. That's Fahrenheit for all you overseas, all my overseas boys and girls. Um, the screen was like super sweaty. It was kind of gross. Like all my sweat was just like, dead. like just like, ooh. it was like I sprayed the screen with sweat. Uh, sorry for the gross, uh, you know, mental image, but that's how bad it was. Um, and so I ended up taking it out of my pocket and just kind of walking around with it. And, uh, you know, I remember, like, Kakudo talking about this a lot, and he's totally right. Uh, when you have two of them, and they're just kind of clattering against each other, it really makes you feel like you're some kind of freaking weirdo. Like, it just feels bad. Like, you just feel like, I don't know, it just makes you feel like those, like, uh, those, like, you know, those, like, weirdo anime nerds, um... When you just see them coming, you're like, oh god, here those guys come. Like, I feel like that when these are clattering together. It just, I don't like it. Um, just the sound. And, and also, I hate the sound. The sound, it's, I'm thinking like, oh my god, I'm, I'm like, literally smashing these two expensive collector's items together uh, casually as I walk. I don't like it. Uh, but, you know, one of them kept getting super sweaty, so I had to, like, take it out of the pocket every so often. So I could breathe, and I could wipe off the screen from, you know, my disgusting sweat. Ugh gross but yeah um here's some news uh, what was the news again oh yeah so for all of you that are worried about the adventure colon digivice because i know a lot of you are still on the fence a lot of you still kind of want to get it now because you know it's gonna be expensive later etc etc um what they're doing currently is they are um because the pre-orders have been like so massive like there's been a lot of pre-orders um their bandai of japan is thinking of capping off pre-orders soon and i think in a week or two and after that setting up a wave two of pre-orders that will be shipped out the following month so the digivice colon is supposed to come out in november that means that december would be the wave two release which is fairly uh pretty close um usually i feel like usually like wave two releases you're usually re like released a couple months after this one's being released a month after which is pretty nuts uh they definitely i think they definitely i guess want this to be something that gets out to as many people as possible um which i mean <clears throat> they should have just made it a general release uh instead of a premium bandai exclusive but that's you know we, we've already talked about that i think everyone's already mentioned the fact that they're pissed off about that uh i think myself included I still don't know if you can connect it to anything or if it's just a standalone device. Uh, I hope they get, we get some confirmation for that soon. Uh, most, mostly everyone is agreeing that it's probably not going to be able to connect to anything, which is, it is a bummer. But at the same time, uh, the idea behind this device is, like I said before, a interesting marriage between CSA device and uh, classical uh, Digivice toy. Uh, getting rid of the pedometer makes sense. Uh, just making it kind of like a little... Because the, the roulette is supposed to like, kind of determine how far you move on the board and everything. Uh, which I get. That's fine. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I wish there was a connector somewhere. Or, like, a, 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 a port that you can, like, add a, an adapter for the classic devices so it can battle them. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something like that. Anything. Um, but sadly, it doesn't seem like it's going to be able to connect anything but i mean hey we still haven't seen the back of that damn device so maybe they're hiding something back there or maybe they're hiding nothing who knows um or maybe it just looks ugly from the back it could also be it because uh, all the beauty shots are either again from dead on or like from the side we've never seen the back yet like the back is cursed or something then again they usually don't do that in general um but yeah so 
there's another wave of pre-orders coming soon if these sell out eventually or when these like you know cap off there's gonna be another wave so if you haven't gotten it yet you're still on the fence maybe you have 90 dollars to burn um the option's there as far as premium bandai us i don't know if they're doing the same thing and they're gonna like re-up they're gonna like close this pre-order wave and then open another one i have no idea i don't know if they're gonna keep it up i don't know what they're doing exactly uh but you know that's just going on as far as the digivice colon is concerned just in case you guys are wondering about that device um i don't think we've gotten any other news on the pendulum z uh everything we know we know i think they've shown off all the rosters so far um or at least most of them of course they show off most of the rosters but then they end up showing like they they do sh they don't show everything they keep like a couple digimon secret uh, like some of the megas and super megas and whatnot um so there you know, is that but we've seen most of all of the roster for the pendulum z um i i don't think it could be wrong but i do not think that we have uh i don't think we've seen like everything um as far as this and i don't think the creators are done just yet so once the pre-orders are over, I'm gonna guess, like, honestly, because I don't know, because the way they did the X2s, they just did it so quickly, it was like, bam, bam, like, X2, it's done. Hey, you got more money? X2s are coming out. Buy them. Um, I think they might do this kind of rapid-fire kind of uh, <laughs> release schedule um, for a while. So I would not be surprised if the Wave 2 Pendulum Zs get announced pretty much, like, as soon as the Wave uh, 1 pre-orders end like maybe a month or two and they'll just already announce the next one and it'll probably come out like in january or february of next year um i, I would not be surprised because we know like everyone's pretty much figured it out we know we're getting a wave two one bandai just loves doing that and two you know we only have three uh representatives from the original pendulums there's three more um you know versions of the original pendulum that they could release and this wave of course has the bond of courage egg so that means the next wave would obviously have the bond of friendship egg for agumon um we'll probably be able to jogress a susanomon which i'm super hype about that's gonna be really cool and probably also going to be able uh, to maybe jogress uh, bond of courage agumon or bond of courage gobblemon into something you never know they might make like a new jogress of those two just for the bee pets it's happened before Grace Novamon that didn't exist until they made it for the repets. Um, so it, it's possible, it could happen. We could get like a new Dragress um, for you know this uh, this V pet. Um, I said I was not going to talk for very long, and here I am rambling on. That's just me, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Huge shout out to my patrons. I really do appreciate you guys. I thank you every day for supporting the channel even that little bit does really really help and i thank you watching this right now all the way through the end of the video i really do appreciate it not many people do that and i do again i appreciate it i'm gonna go i hope you guys take care of yourselves i hope you guys stay well um tomorrow like as you're watching this i believe i will be back down at the shore i don't know yet if we're gonna continue the live stream um format or try to make a actual um, edited episode and try to upload it. Uh, I could do that if I like put the foot, like I could like try filming and editing on my phone, putting that, you know, trying to upload it on uh, <laughs> on McDonald's Wi-Fi like I used to um, on my phone. Because right now my laptop battery does not last as soon as it's unplugged. So, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just like, you know, maybe maybe that'll be the case. Let me know what you think. You want live streams, you want episodes like this, but like in a different locale and, and done for my phone, so it's a little low-key, a little lo-fi. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think, because uh, I'm still debating it myself. I'm also still debating if we're even going to go down there. I think we are, but it won't be the greatest of weather. But like just being down there and being away from things is just better than being home, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. Bye. Please. Bye. Love it.